What is going on ladies and gentlemen, it's DJFX or Nick, whatever the fuck you want to call me. And today I'm bringing you a new video that should help you guys out a lot. First of all, I hope everyone's having a great day. I'm just hitting the very first little bit of coldness of this December and um, I'm enjoying it so far. But now let's get into the video guys. Um, today I'm bringing you a video pretty much on just how to get the diamond camos faster. To unlock the diamond camo, you have to unlock all the gold camos for a particular weapon class. Now, one of the biggest problems with going to diamond camo, as this we'll cover today, is getting headshots. Headshots seems to be a problem for some people, and today we're going to try to talk about, you know, my tips and tricks on how to get more head in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. First thing, and that is the actual weapon itself. Obviously, you have to use all the weapons, so I'm gonna give you all the best tips on what like attachments to run uh, to make that weapon most effective in getting those headshots. First thing is the attachments. Now, the attachments play a huge role because it can help make the weapon better than you know what it actually can form, and especially running like a red dot sight make gives you a little bit of easier aid in getting these headshots. I would recommend running the reflex sight. Now, I recommend running the reflex sight for this particular reason, and that's because the ELO sight has a bit more recoil. Um, you know, it bounces a lot more than a reflex sight in a test versus test. It bounces a lot more. Um, due to this bounce and everything, makes it a little harder and aiming in for the headshot. So, that's, that's tip number one. Run the reflex sight. Now, I'm going to tell you also is run... You get Black Ops 3, you get to have different reticles on the reflex site. And I would recommend running the Black Ops 3 reticle. Um, I don't know what's the exact name of it, but I'll put a picture of it on the screen right now. And this site, you unlock just by getting a few kills, the reflex site. And I recommend it a lot. It helps a lot because it has a small circle in the middle, um, a small dot in the middle, and then a, a circle around it. To me, it helped getting headshots, it allowed me to kind of like position it over the head, uh, the little small dot, I don't know, it, it, I don't know how it works, but it made life easier getting headshots to me. I noticed a difference, so it might help you guys out. If you can get past all the text and stuff on the, uh, the reticle, you shall be good. Now, the next two attachments I want you to run, yes, this is a three attachment setup, is quick draw, and I think it's grip, um, yeah, grip. Grip and quick draw make huge difference. Grip allows you basically to pull out your weapon quicker, and pulling a weapon out quicker allows you to aim quicker at the enemy and get that headshot. Now, what grip allows you to do is it takes, it reduces the recoil within while aiming down sights. So now you can pull out that little reflex sight quicker and shoot down people with it while you know having less recoil allowing you to keep it you know keeping yourself under the head now a lot of people may not be all that great in confronting people and getting headshots so another tip would be to run silencer and like a ghost setup you know ghosts uh maybe hardwire too and basically just sneak up on your enemies this will basically give you advantage because you have a little bit longer of a time period to you know sneak up on them you use ghosts so they won't see you on the radar and then you use silencer again to keep you off the radar this basically just gives you a slight advantage gives you a little bit more time allow you to you know kind of pick them off so that's the second setup if you know maybe not that great now another thing is to use head glitches head glitches is probably a very you know People tend to hate on them because it really can piss you off if you're on the other end of it. But, you know, it's if you gotta get a challenge done, hey, do what you gotta do. Head glitches pretty much is where you just run up behind up an object and basically literally all your head shows. <laughs> kind of like this. And the reason people hate is because people who are trying to shoot you down, it takes, it's really hard to shoot them down. And that's why we're using it on our side. This gives you a slight advantage of getting onto, um, you know, getting more time to get that headshot. Now, within these two setups, um, 
The next most effective thing is, is aiming. You want to keep your reticle just about the neck, neck, shoulder area. It will rise up and hit him in the head. Now, the main reason that this video is talking about headshots, but there's a few other things I could talk to you about for diamond camos. One of the biggest things is creating multiple class setups for that specific gun. I recommend creating creating a class setup with five attachments on the next gun, um, creating a class setup with no attachments on, and creating a class setup you can run and just gun, run, and gun pretty much. This will allow you basically to save the most effective time in a game. Uh, you could be running, you know, you could run around, start shooting people, uh, get, finish up your 50 kills with one gun, and then say you still have a lot of time left in the game mode, uh, you know, if you don't have the class set up, then you have to wait till the game ends. Wait till the game ends, wait till the you know, new lobby starts up and all that. Um, this way, if you have two class ups, one without attachments, one with attachments, you can jump right into that. So you don't have any more wasted time. This to me is proven very effectively and will help you get that unlocked diamond camo faster. That is pretty much it guys for this video. It's just a quick two, you know, two, three little tips and tricks real quick to show you guys, uh, to help you guys with diamond camo. Remember to run your quick draw, grip, and reflex sight. Help you a lot. Let me know what you guys think. What is your tips or tricks on how to get more headshots? Let me know in the description, the comments below, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed my content. Hope you guys do. And that's pretty much it. Connect with me in the description. This is DJFX out.